Hello everyone, welcome back to A Better Biomed. Today I have something very special for you. Now this looks like your average everyday light source, but I promise you, this one is not. This one comes with included fireworks. You might be thinking, why? Why would that fail like that? And I'll tell you, it probably has a lot to do with the fact that it was not maintained properly. You see, the PM on this guy, according to what I can see, was just done two or three weeks ago. But why? Why would it be so full of lint if it was just done two or three weeks ago? Look at that imp in there. I've got a fan that is so chock full of lint that it barely spins. So there's a couple things that are going on with this light source. The bulb, when the bulbs get older, they draw more current to keep the arc going that makes the power supply work harder. And back there, the fan is so chocked full of lint that it doesn't spin naturally. Normally with a brushless fan, you can spin it and it will continue spinning for a couple seconds. This one barely spins and it stops immediately as soon as you quit uh, forcing it. So this is a pretty good indicator of what happens when you fail to maintain your equipment properly. This PM was done two to three weeks ago, according to the sticker. And there's nothing that's going to happen to the technician that did this because of multiple reasons. One of them is that things hardly ever happen to technicians that are reported like that. And the other reason is that the bean counters got their beans. Here is my problem with a lot of PMs. There's certain things that catch fire and there's certain things that don't catch fire. You would think that we would invest a lot more time in the things that catch fire because they get hot and they're used in delicate areas. But that's not how it is. A lot of people see light sources as a quick and easy PM. They just run up there, maybe do an electrical safety, and then they press on. They failed to realize that if you pull out the bulb and check it, you can see that it was going to fail. It's got burn spots, burn spots on the inside. The fans obviously haven't been vacuumed in probably a few years, and the heat sinks that are down there on the power supply, they're chocked full of lint, so even if you do have good airflow, it's not going to be good airflow through the, the heat sink. So guys, I really wish that maybe as a community and maybe as a profession, we would start talking about the bean counters and some of these PMs. Because, you know, I, I can't completely fault the person here because this guy probably was being shorthanded, which is happening more and more often. Our, our equipment quantity is increasing, but they're not increasing the amount of biomeds, either because the talent pool isn't large enough or because they don't want to use up their, their costs like that. So, I don't know. This really pisses me off because... Just being honest with you guys, this happened during a cardiovascular case, and obviously after this happened, the doctor, the anesthesiologist, everybody in the room is no longer thinking about the patient's well-being. Now they're thinking about what's next, what's, what could possibly fail. They start listening to every, every single little sound in the room, and people just become paranoid over their equipment, and when you see stuff like this... Maybe their paranoia is justified. But this is a problem, guys. Bean counters getting their beans and biomeds possibly being shorthanded. But some things catch fire and some things don't, and that's a real shame. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll try and do a better job next time. This is an absolute embarrassment, and it's a shame on our profession.